सॉल्व वाई क्यूब माइनस सेवन वाई प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टू सॉल्व दिस आई हैव टू चेंज द वाई टर्म दैट इज माइनस सेवन वाई सो इन प्लेस ऑफ माइनस सेवन वाई नाव आई विल राइट माइनस वन वाई माइनस सिक्स वाई प्लस सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो Instead of minus seven y, I have written minus one y minus six y. That is our step one. Next. Now from these two terms, what can be taken out common is y. So here I get y square. Here I get minus one. Same way. From these two terms, I can take out minus six common. Here I get y and here I get minus one. Minus minus plus six into one is six. Okay, next. On one, I can put a square. It's not going to make any change. Why did I put a square? So that I can make use of the formula a square minus b square, which is a minus b a plus b. In place of a, you have y in place of b it is 1 so this simplifies to y minus 1 and y plus 1 minus 6 times y minus 1 equal to 0 now from this entire equation what can be taken out common is y minus 1 So here I get y times y plus one, and here minus six equal to zero. Now open up the bracket in this way. Y into y is y square plus y into one is y minus six equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic. so i will factorize this quadratic here that is y square plus y minus 6 to factorize this quadratic i have to change the y term here it is 1 into 6 is 6 here i should get 1 so 3 into 2 is 6 3 minus 2 is 1 so in place of 1 y i will write plus 3 y Minus two y minus six. Clear. In place of one y, I have written three y minus two y. Next, what can you take out common in these two? Is y. So here you get y, and here you get three. Here you got y plus three, so here also you should get y plus three. From this, y has gone inside means outside. You get minus two. now take out y plus 3 common so you get here y and here minus 2 now in place of this quadratic equation i replace this over here clear let us replace so y minus 1 in place of this quadratic now i write this one That is y plus three y minus two equal to zero. More, they told you to solve. That means you need to find the values for y. Here bracket product equal to zero. So to get y, you equate each bracket to zero. That is y minus one equal to zero. y plus 3 equal to 0 y minus 2 equal to 0 clear equate each bracket to 0 now to get y add 1 on both sides so here i get y equal to 1 here to get y subtract 3 on both sides so i get y equal to minus 3 here to get y add 2 on both sides so i get y equal to 
these are the values for y and this is our answer am i clear